Good morning. Today I'm going to do this easy get ready with me and how I did it was what was most important to me. What to do first. When, if I got interrupted, could I stop and go on? And then I'm going to give you my final decision on the lip plumpers that I've been using for a couple of months and you just never know what else. Probably do some chatting at the end. I'm going to go ahead and get started putting on my makeup. I'm going to put my makeup on in the order of importance and throughout the years I've done this and what's been important one year or decade hasn't been important the next. The first thing I'm going to put on is mascara because if I got interrupted and I had to leave right now, I'd feel the best if I had on some mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that's this is superhero mascara and I'll brush through it and then I'll dip it back and I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'll just brush through them with a clean, dry, old mascara wand. They're really good tools to comb your eyelashes through. I would never use those combs. I used to have one with that was metal and it's too scary for me. So anyway, that's my first step. My, the second thing I want to put on is my eyeliner, and I've been really liking this lighter blue one. It's kind of a, I think it's called Cobalt Blue by Give, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on just up my upper waterline. Right now, it would be okay if I had to leave the house. It would be okay no matter what, but this is kind of like my hierarchy of what I need before, you know, to, to just feel like I have on some makeup. Then I'm just going to put on the Buxom lip gloss. And I think this is the one that has julep in the name. I've, I've repurchased this one. And I am going to talk about lip plumpers when I'm done here, if I have enough time. Most of the time, this is all I wear. I just kind of stop right here. And a lot of you say, you don't do like full get ready with me's anymore. It's because I'm really not going anywhere, but today I am. So I'm gonna do more makeup than what I normally do. And next are my eyebrows. And I don't, I, I don't want to uh, use any color, but I need for them to stay in place. And right now I'm using one by, from ABH. And I've heard there's a lot of dupes out there. So the next time I buy one, it'll probably, I'll try another one. But I, I like this a lot because I have brow hair. And I'm just going to go get some on this part. And I just bent the end of a spoolie. And that's, that's all I do. And that's good for me. I ordered something when BK Beauty had their uh, sale, their 20 to 35% off Mother's Day sale. And I've been using it, and I really like it, and I want to demonstrate it. It's, it's the Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. Lisa had sent me the set, and I gave it away, and I wanted to try that brush because it really, I love her 101 brush, and I'm going to use that too. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use the regular it, uh, Celebration Foundation, not the Illumination, and in it, I wear a medium beige. I can wear anywhere from light to almost tan with the powder foundation. But I'm gonna go work right here, right in my dark spot right here. And I'm gonna use this brush and I really, really like it. I'll use it in a couple areas too. Jim is doing well, which is wonderful. And it'll probably be a little while before we travel, but he just keeps getting better every day. But the other day he was in the refrigerator and he said, well, the Italian salad dressing is out of date. And I said, well, did you taste it? He said, no, it's out of date. And I said, Jim, I lived 50 years before they had expiration dates on food. And I'm not, I'm not knocking expiration dates at all, but nobody needs to tell me when my sugar is bad. You know, I mean, flour gets bad if you leave it out. If you put it in the refrigerator or freezer, it stays longer but it just really aggravates me to see expiration dates on anything because how did we make it back in the day? How did we make it without having expiration dates? And when I saw them on Band-Aids, I thought, I'm done, <laughs> I'm done. I can smell something. I mean, there's lots of ways to know if something's expired. 
and I'm probably on a rant that I shouldn't be on, but it's just aggravating to me. So I use this brush just to get, you know how I've had other brushes that I use like this, but just to kind of get in the areas that need the most coverage. And then I'm gonna, this is her 101 brush. I love it with foundation. It's the only one that I have ever liked for foundation, for regular liquid foundation, but I'm gonna use it with my powder today. And I'm just gonna put this in the one time, and then I'm just gonna press it in. And I think, <laughs> I think by doing that, it gives my face a lot smoother finish. And I've just really been partial to powder foundations. I still have some liquid ones I use, but I get a lot of questions on how I apply my powder foundations. And I thought, well, I'll just do a get, get ready with me. And I have a couple items I'm wanting to give away. So I thought, what better way than to do a get ready with me so I can share some things with you. Now I'm gonna look and see if I've got everything covered as much as I want. And the next product I'm going to use is blush. And my very favorite all-time blush is Mood Exposure from Hourglass. And I just love it. Here's the shade right here. And I've had this, I don't know how many years I've had it, and I know it hasn't expired. I know it hasn't. <laughs> just, anyway, I'm real good about mascara. I throw that away every season. I open a new mascara. But... I can tell when a lipstick's bad. I can tell when foundation is bad. I think it takes a long time for powder. This is just my opinion. So I'm just gonna put, I like to do that. And then this is a no-no, but I still like to do it. I like to put it across my nose. One of my very first get ready with me, I did a sunburn look and I, I, I like that look. I bought a couple of things last fall from Laura Geller and two of them are her I can't, I don't know. One of them is amethyst and one of them is petal, pink petal or something like that. I use them as cream eyeshadows and it's not gonna be a dramatic look, but I really do like them. They are easier to spread than the ones that I had from CoverGirl. I don't know if they're as good as a lot of the others because I only buy cruelty-free makeup and I can't try a lot of those that look so good. But anyway, I'm just gonna put this across my eyelid and I'll do it on both eyes. And it does, I don't know if you notice, it doesn't pull and tug at my, to the skin on my eyeballs. And that means a lot to me. Because the less I pull and tug, the better shape my eyelids are gonna be in. And that's a very natural look. And this is the one in Amethyst. And I am just going to put a little bit here in the corner. See how I just, just some in the corner and then I'm gonna bring it in. I used to always call this the wedge and it's kind of like a wedge, but I think it brings my eyes up on the ends and gives them a little definition. And I do have permanent eyeliner, so I don't usually put anything underneath my eyelashes because I, I got that done a long time ago. I'm, I really don't have any idea, probably close to 13 years, something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a lip liner even though I have lip gloss on. This is in Pink Lady and it's by BK Beauty. Wonderful lip liner. I'm not, I don't use lip liners a lot, but when I do, I love them. And sometimes I'll use a lip liner without anything, but I don't go outside my normal vermilion border. I stay inside. And if you have trouble with your lipstick bleeding, if you put a good lip liner on and kind of pat it in, it'll, it'll kind of keep a barrier that it won't go up in your lip lines. But any products I ever talk about on here do not go up on my lip lines because I won't use them. But it just made it look a little bit better. And so that is it. That is my get ready with me. It's so funny when I edit this, I have no idea if it went well or not. I, I noticed looking at my viewfinder 
that this is Paisley and this is Paisley. I have loved Paisley. Oh my gosh, ever, ever since I knew what Paisley was, I've loved Glenn Plaid, I've loved Tattersaw Plaid, I've loved Black Watch Plaid. There are things that I will love no matter what. That's why I have Paisley wallpaper, because I'm gonna always like it. And I got a robe like this. In fact, it made it in my favorites video, my 10 favorites of 2021. I got one kind of in a pinkish color. And then right after I bought it, I bought this one in a paisley, and I really like them. Okay, now to my lip, pl lip plumpers. And you know that I will spend money for lip products. I am not tight. I like a good deal, but I don't always get a good deal. So I want you to take that into consideration because I did not think of cost when I was trying these at all. At all. And I'll show you what products I'm talking about. City Lips, Buxom, Grande Lips, and then Pillow Plump. I had this, and I'd had this for some time. I didn't use any of them morning and evening. At one time, I did this morning and evening, and I did get a little bit of plumping, the, the Grande Lips. But I just wanted to see, when I put it on and looked in the mirror, and I, I'm a, I do have really good assessment skills, and I can tell if something is working or not, and these three, I like all of them. I think they are great lip products, but I could not see any plumping. In my opinion, not counting putting on lip liner, because like if you just put these on naked lips, if, you, if it goes a little bit above the vermilion border of your lip, it makes your lips look plunk, plumper. But I don't wanna go above my vermilion border. I wanna just keep my lips like they are and put on something and make them look plumper. But with that being said, the one that was the best was the one from Pillow Plump. And I think this is from Soap and Glory. And I heard about this a long time ago from Beauty by Anne Marie. And if anything made my lips look plumper, this did. And take it for what it's worth. You know, it may work different on younger lips. You know, these are older lips. <laughs> Um, all good products, but this is the one that made my lips look a little bit plumper. So I wanted to let you know that. And if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. I don't know if you noticed, I put a little, when, when I hear about a sale, I try to, and it's, if it's after I have filmed the video, I try to put it in the first pinned comment or in the information. And BK Beauty had a really good sale for Mother's Day. It was 20 to 35% off, and and I'm happy with that percentage off. I've spoken about this brush so many times, and I am, and I like good brushes. I mean, I like my It Cosmetics brushes. I like my Trish McAvoy. I like my Mary Glitzy Fritzy I Set. I like a lot of brushes, but for liquid foundation, this is the only one that I like, and this is what I'm using for powder foundation. So I love this. And I love all of her lip liners. So I ordered two of the 101 brushes and two of the four packs of the lip liner. And I wanna give them away to two people. I just wanna share it with other people when I really like something. And to be in this giveaway, let me think, I haven't even thought this out. You need to be 18 years old or older, and that's all you need to be. If you wanna thumbs up this video, that helps me. If you don't, that's okay, it doesn't matter but it's not a requirement and you don't even have to be subscribed. All you need to do is leave a comment in the comment section. All I want you to say is, what is your favorite color of lipstick? And if you don't wear lipstick, you can tell me the favorite color on somebody else. It doesn't have to be specific. You can say pink, red, purple, whatever color. You can even say clear. I just, that, that just tells me that you wanna be in my giveaway and uh, I really enjoy doing these. And everything I use, I buy myself. I wanted to tell you that. If, if I don't, I'll put a little asterisk by it. And sometimes like the company has sent me something and once I purchase it again, I take that star away because it's been purchased by me. But anyway, it is all good. And um, thank you so much for everything, for everything that you all do. I appreciate you. I do. And I can't think of another word. I should go to a thesaurus and see 
I should say I'm, a, I'm obsessed with you. Would that make me a cool YouTuber if I'd say I'm obsessed with all of you? Anyway, I, I, I appreciate you. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. No idea if I got no that give let them the good. And then, uh, like the, the mm. and I, I, so, or, no, that might be a little too long. Okay.